The internet, y'all go too far. Y'all really go too far. Fandom is something else, man. Fandom really is something else. Because people look at celebrity and build in their mind a reality that doesn't even exist. This food and wasted 30 to 40 minutes of my day talking about LeBron James could beat Mike Tyson. And try to logically make this make sense to me as if I'm crazy. My hatred of LeBron James is blinding me from seeing that LeBron James is bigger than Mike Tyson and faster than Mike Tyson. And of course, oh no, no, I'm not talking about LeBron today. I'm talking about LeBron in his prime. If you gave him two years of training for boxing, he would beat Mike Tyson. LeBron got win. Mike Tyson gets tired. Nigga, Mike Tyson knocked people out <laughs> in one round. <laughs> He got more first round knockouts. Man, dude, I didn't, I'm, I'm surprised I had to logically defend this. This fool actually believed it. He believed this. <laughs> dog, he would, I would pay money today. Tyson is about almost 60. I would pay money to watch LeBron James at his age now go in a ring and try to fight Mike Tyson. I'm taking Mike Tyson. Are you out your mind? First of all, let's talk logically about it. LeBron is a bigger person than Mike Tyson. You know how many people that's bigger than Mike Tyson that got knocked out in the first round who has trained, I don't know, probably nine, ten years of boxing before they got in the ring with Mike Tyson and went to sleep in less than 30, 40, 50 seconds? That wasn't a design. You know, they didn't go to... They didn't go run six, seven miles down the road. They didn't jump, skip rope, go to the practice, getting up at six in the morning, can't hang out at the club. No women, no sex, just so they can get knocked out in, in 30, 40 something seconds in the first round. They putting any dedication into this. So you mean to tell me LeBron James is so special of a basketball player that one, he got to get all the great players around the league on his team to help him win, and he gets all the credit for it. Nobody he going to get to come in there and fight for him. Well, it's going to be him, A.D., <laughs> Russ. They all finna fight Mike Tyson. I'm still taking Mike Tyson. <laughs> Tyson coming. I don't like you. Bye. Oh, God, my eyebrow. <laughs> he put a... He split my eyebrows. <laughs> they normal now. <laughs> Damn, AD down. Get him, Russ. I'm angry, man. Ah! You make me laugh. <laughs> now I'm going to drive your nose into your brain. Boom. Oh, shit, Russ. Uh, I just thought about it, man. No, nah, this ain't for me. This ain't for me. No, you ain't got to hit me. You ain't got to hit me. I'm going to get out the ring. That's the other part. He don't have the mental makeup of a human being that would be in there trying to battle for a heavyweight championship against Mike Tyson. Let that sink in.
All of this is nonsense. For anyone to sit there and believe that LeBron James could survive in a boxing ring with Iron Mike Tyson for any seconds in his prime. This is what kills me. The idiot said in his prime, LeBron needs two years of straight training and he could beat Mike Tyson. Boy, I swear to God, people are stupid. So stupid. This man has never boxed a day in his life. Do you realize taking a punch is more than a two-year process? Being okay with someone punching you in the face, taking a jab or two, <laughs> getting used to somebody actually hitting you in the face, that's a process of learning that happens early. You got to be okay with that. You got to be calm. Two years of training ain't going to get your body used to the abuse of being punched. This ain't somebody hitting you with a basketball or a little elbow to the side. Ugh. And then you roll around on the floor. This dude is going to hit you and it's going to feel like a cement truck. Then hit you repeatedly. Are you ready for this? I don't think so. So to, enter, to entertain this conversation, I tried to avoid it and go back to the doggone locks battle, which by the way, if y'all missed that live stream, I don't know if they even gonna send out this notification, but if y'all missed that live stream, that was the livest live stream we've done in a very long time. That was live. We had everybody in that live stream. I mean, everybody was in it. That live stream was jumping. Everybody was in that live. From, from down south, uh, Bay, San Diego, LA, New York, New Orleans. Everybody repped a version of hip hop. Chicago, Detroit. <laughs> People were there. They were in there repping where they from. It was live. Talking about hip hop in the era and what was going on. We talked over, man, we, we had a four hour live stream, dog. And then after that, it went on some more. Crazy hip, hip hop video, man. Great time. I had, I definitely enjoyed it a lot. So how many people out there tell me LeBron in their prime fighting a prime Mike Tyson? That's what made it even worse. A prime Mike Tyson. LeBron James at no point in his career could mess with any version of Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson at 15, I might take Mike Tyson over <laughs> LeBron James. <laughs> at 15, Tyson probably was knocking people out. Shoot, he was what, 17 or uh, 18 years old when he won the heavyweight championship? Almost 19? Knocking out fully grown men? Now, the problem is this. What are we going to do with the rest of the people that's lined up here? Hmm. What are we going to do with y'all, man, that, that actually believe LeBron James have a shot? Some fool said LeBron James is strong. <laughs> Stronger than you think, Sino. He, he saved Camilo Anthony when he was drowning. He, he grabbed, you know how big Carmelo is? LeBron grabbed him with one arm and swam him. Oh, my God, man. <laughs> it's not about how strong LeBron James is. It's about what he can take. I know what Mike can take. We've seen Mike take shots. 
It's what LeBron can take. And how much could he take? It ain't going to take much from Mike. <laughs> One body shot, that could be it. LeBron ain't used to getting hit like that. Two years of training ain't going to get you ready for Mike Tyson. A shot from Mike Tyson is getting you ready for the dog on hospital bed. Eating jello. So don't forget to subscribe to the page, man. Uh, my cash app is Carcino. Um, you know, my super chat already. But that's what I'm saying. This is y'all looking at this the wrong way. The absolute wrong way. It takes years. Boxing is not a UFC sport, okay? It's not some John Doe run of the mill type of thing. No, this is a dedication, it's a sport. That you train for years just to get better. To hone in on your skills and get better and improve. And once you improve, then sky's the limit. Oh, sorry about that. Sky's the limit. So if you ain't ready to get in the mud, then you ain't ready to get in the mud. But don't ever think LeBron James, just because he's good at basketball, he can beat Mike Tyson. It's not going to happen. So don't forget to, you know, look at, would I pick Mike Tyson to beat LeBron James in basketball? Since I'm so biased against LeBron. Right? That's what y'all said. I'm biased on LeBron. If I'm so biased on LeBron, then I would pick Mike Tyson to beat him in basketball. No, I would not. Mike Tyson, at no point in time, I could see him beating LeBron James in basketball. I got you. Watch this. I'm going to go left. Get off me. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'll wait till you get through shooting, then I'm going to shoot. Chase and shoot a brick up there. Oh, did that go in? Um, I, I didn't see it. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I really didn't see. Did it go in? Um, I don't know. It, it could have. I, I really didn't see it. Just, here, just shoot again. <laughs> oh, man. So, no. No. LeBron, Mike Tyson would uh, would lose to LeBron. So that's that. Anyway, there's four videos up there. Check them out, or at least one of them, if not all four. One of them might interest you, and um, let me know what you think. I'm out.